Well, 50 Cent threw an amazing festival in Houston, Texas. He calls it Tycoon Weekend. 50, by the way, lives in Texas nowadays. It looked like he had a blast. It looked like it was popping. He brought a lot of big names out uh, to the point that 50's doing it again in Miami. Uh, but before we get to Miami, 50 Cent had to give out some grades for some guests that were present in Houston for Tycoon Week last weekend. Um, so Jacquees is now on probation. He said, uh, if some shit happens again in Miami, Jacquees will be banned. Pleasure P, for some odd reason, is on probation. He said, Pleasure P had a little scuffle but didn't leave the hotel. We're going to blame that on the branch and nobody got hurt it wasn't about nothing he will be at the next tycoon another r&b act was not as lucky according to 50 cent 50 posted on his instagram account that trey songs is banned from tycoon weekend he said last tycoon weekend trey crashed a rape this tycoon weekend he was acting crazy wanting to fight and shit with over the girls he broke some shit up in his room Tell Trey Songs that he is banned from Tycoon Weekend in Miami. I don't know what's going on with Trey. We keep hearing these weird stories. By the way, Trey Songs is my favorite R&B artist of the last decade. We keep hearing these weird stories about Trey, and I don't know what's going on with the brother. There's a rumor floating around that last weekend in Houston, Trey got into it with a boxer by the name of, of Terrence Crawford. Who, just for those who don't follow boxing, he's never lost a fight, which means I don't think his first loss was going to be to Trey Songs. <laughs> he's a professional boxer that doesn't lose at all to like other professional boxers and apparently like trey wanted to go toe for toe i don't know what's going on with trigger trey uh best of luck to him if you were a part of 50 cents tycoon weekend in texas let me know how it was what was your favorite moment of the weekend and if you're heading down to miami or you're present in miami let me know are you looking forward to tycoon weekend it looks like when Tycoon Weekend does head to Miami, it looks like 50 Cent is going to have to turn into Canaan real quick to handle some issues between the power universe. You heard me correctly. Apparently in Houston for Tycoon Weekend, there are a couple of beefs brewing by some prominent characters in the power universe and even in the BMF universe. I'll explain it more in a second. But first, so Gianni Paola, who plays Brayden on Power Book 2, and he did on Power as well, and Joseph Sakura, who is another white actor that plays Tommy in the Power Universe. Apparently, there's a video floating around of Joseph. And uh, pretty much, he denied a handshake from Gianni. And Gianni said it's not the first time that this happened. It, it went to social media. And Joseph said, look, we saw each other at the hotel afterward and talked. Everything's all good. Apparently, Brayden does not see it that way. He said, listen, I was going to leave this alone, but people keep sending me this. And this dude straight up telling lies. It's not all good. I asked him in the elevator, what's his deal with me? Because he's been doing this ish for years. When I've shown him nothing but respect and love, he keeps keep just saying he doesn't mess with me. Nothing will resolve. Stop spreading lies because people are pressing you about your saltiness. I've said nothing but amazing things about this dude on the podcast. And if you listen to it, you know season six of power he was the nicest guy in the world to me then when ghosts happened everything switched up if you are going to try and pretend like this ish is resolved for social media because you are mad everybody is asking why a 47 year old man is throwing shade at someone everybody messed with and then at least do better than that my guy 50 cents saw this back and forth between two of his prominent white actors by the way in the power universe he said oh ish it's up now i never like to star ish but you should shock him tommy wait i think this little dude brayden got a knife lol hopefully it doesn't go any further than just look we don't like each other because we're competing for spots or eyes or whatever i mean joe he, uh, brayden is claiming that tommy feels about him look it's getting a little too crazy apparently michael rainey who plays Tariq, that's my dog shout out michael rainey and lil meech who plays big meech in the bmf series apparently they got into a, a little bit of a back and forth nothing too crazy but apparently they were throwing money at each other in the direction of each other flexing a little bit letting it be known and i'm the top dog in the power universe apparently there's a little bit of bad tension there this tycoon weekend that 50 cents guy man he, he's got something it, he brings out the best and it feels like everybody just gets everything off their chest 
when, when they get to these tycoon weekends y'all let me know are y'all tapping in still to the power universe i am a big power book two fan so if you want to have a convo about that your boy pharaoh does tune into the power book two and i just started watching raising canaan looks like canaan's gonna have to come in uh rise from the dead and, and handle some of these issues because uh when this thing hits to miami like as 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 lenient as florida is with a lot of stuff you can have a lot of problems on your hand 50 and i'm sure you do not want that so you know you're gonna need to bring kanan from the dead to handle some of these issues all right thank y'all so much time love and support is what your boy will never take for granted around here i'm out